My name is Damir Perge and I have uh, been a, what you call a restaurant connoisseur most of my life. I have traveled the world to, and I've uh, been to some of the best restaurants you can think of. I can tell you that, yes, some of that food was quite exquisite and quite wonderful, but there's just some things you cannot beat when it comes to your mom's cooking. And so throughout my life, uh, my mom has been cooking for us and uh, she's, in my opinion, a true craftsman, artist, and whatever you want to call it, a chef goes beyond being a chef. There's just some dishes that there's no restaurant in the world that can compete against her. So what we decided to do was uh, film it and capture some of her incredible recipes and have it forever. And, and so that's where we'll start. The first dish we'll start today is called Gibanitsa. And now I'm gonna introduce you to the magical chef, my mom, Baba. Hello, Baba. Hi. And uh, we're going to go through the procedure of, uh, of teaching you how to make this wonderful dish. And I want to learn it myself. I'm not a cook. I have no experience cooking. I mean, how can you have an experience cooking when you have Baba cook for you? Also, in Serbian language, the word Baba means grandma. And in, in all these uh, TV shows, we'll call her Baba. And so Baba's cooking is going to show us. So the first one, like I said, is Gibanitsa. It's, uh, it's, it's something that I want to learn how to make and uh, let's go to it. Okay, Baba, so um, uh, tell the audience how long have you been cooking? Uh, about 65 years. 65 years, and who taught you how to cook? My mama. My oh. mama was the best cook in the world, and I have uh, five sisters and mm -hmm. brother, and we, each of us has special dish. My special dish is gibanitsa. Wonderful. Well, that's not the only special dish. You got another 30 of them, but we'll start with Gibanitsa. Okay, so Gibanitsa, what do we start I, with? What? I use filo doves. Filo doves, I hey, use... Where is that? Here. Uh, right here? Yeah. Okay, so one of the ingredients is... Uh, is uh, you can get this anywhere so some of these uh, even though the the dish is Serbian uh, some of these ingredients uh, uh, you can buy at a store any store here so this one is fill a dough and it's Safeway Select so it's not like you have to go to a fancy store okay so now um, then what do you do? I put on the paper open it and put on the paper and show leaves okay so let's open it up I hope I don't wreck it. You can put in the freezer and it can be about four months. In the fridge there can be a couple of weeks. Okay, so that's uh, that's what it is. It's still a dough. Okay, I didn't even know what you call this. I really didn't, so I just learned it's called and, and you need to cover that because you don't want to let it dry. Okay, okay? so you gotta now, keep it dry. What is that? So you have I cottage have cheese? Cottage cheese. Okay, so it's just uh, lucerne, uh, small curd. It doesn't cheese. matter what kind what about of cheese. 4% milk fat, is that important or anything like that? That's original, 4% okay. is okay. the better. It's not, it's not uh, low calorie, but it's really good one piece if you have. Okay, well I don't care about calories on this. You just wait when you taste it. Now what do we do? Cream, put two cream cheese. Okay, where's the cream cheese? Oh, okay. So now we're going to uh, put two of these cream cheese. I guess Lucerne should be happy. Baba is using, okay, her, yeah. using her brand, you know. We're not being paid any sponsorship whatsoever for this. Um, okay, so of course you need to be a rocket scientist to open this. Here it is, Baba. I got it. Okay, put in. Anytime in my family somebody needs to break something open or open up a bottle of wine, bottle uh, of wine or anything, I'm the person that everybody calls. We're gonna mix cottage cheese and yes. hold on, it's kind of comical, but I can't <laughs> open it. Who's my nose? Two of these. Of course, uh, my parents have always taught me. Hold on, to be frugal. So you never throw anything away. We never could leave anything on the plate, ever. 
actually um, mix together so with the fork. With, this or with fork? the fork better. Here, let me do it. So now I'm gonna mix it. And the magic is starting to happen. Baba's magic. Okay, it's starting to look good. Put a little bit salt. It's not looking like Gibbon. It's like how much salt? A little bit. Like just a pinch. Just a pinch of salt. Yeah. Well, that's not a little bit. You did it twice. No. It's okay. okay. Just a little bit of salt. And then put inside four eggs, one by one. Okay, one mix. mix first. Okay, this is important to know. Put one egg in first. Mix it really good. Now, I want to tell you that when uh, Baba makes gibbon, it's up. Uh, the whole family knows there's a rule. And the rule is that I get to eat the corners. Yeah. Okay, that's just like Demir's. All the way, gibbon, it's around. I love eating the uh, corners of the of the uh, of this wonderful wonderful dish i don't know why not that the uh middle parts are not uh, good but i think it's because i like the filo dough as well in it so okay then we're gonna mix some more four eggs four eggs it's already, and I can tell you as I'm doing this, because this is the first time I've done it in my life, even though I've eaten it about 2,000 times easy. More than that, actually. Uh, I've never done it, and I can tell you as I'm doing this right now, and I'm mixing it, uh, it's feeling uh, lighter. Okay, so show show what you've got here. So, okay, olive oil. I love anything uh, having olive oil. But that is the best. So this is the best. Filippo. Filippo Birio. It's uh, I guess it's Italian, and it's extra light test tasting olive oil. And I didn't even know that you had olive oil in here, but now it kind of makes sense actually. Tells you what kind of cook I am when I don't know any ingredients. How much of olive oil? Six ounces. Six ounces? Yeah. Six ounces of olive oil. Olive oil. And you're gonna put it in there. This is the baking. It's an old. This is probably what 20 years old. Yeah. Okay, baking so dish. we do it. This is real stuff. We don't have any fancy dishes or anything like that. And notice how she's putting olive oil uh, and putting it all around because then obviously when you cook it, it's not gonna stick. Is that why you're doing it, Bob? Yeah. So this is how much of olive oil? Six ounces? No, it's four. Four yeah. ounces. I thought you told me six. But there, you smell it, Teresa. You need six ounces. You just, I heard you just say it, little. right? Six yeah. ounces? But it is six ounces. No, it's not. You know, I'm one of those guys, I will say, that I'm not, I'm a really exact, exact kind Dosta. of a guy. So, six ounces. Put inside and mix. Put inside, and now, it's gonna be interesting to see how it tastes. It's getting really smooth, if you can see it. This this uh, fork is a headache, Baba. This, fork is, a, this fork is a headache. You don't it's have a okay. fork. Because it does go through and mix nicely. Okay, I'll have to but I'll have to get Baba a new and, fork. And it's six, just a headache. It's hard to do it. And six You always six. use this fork? Yeah, always. Okay. And now milk inside. Milk. How much six, of milk? Six six unti. It's not six ounces. Yeah, okay. Where's the milk? Okay. Um, I'm one of those guys that is, uh, when it comes to ingredients or cooking or anything, um, I'm like total exactness. You should see me make coffee. Tu è dosta, sì. Tu dosta e tu sa dolla di malo chi se la vuole. She said that's enough because after that you're gonna have something else come in. And we have Mitzi here somewhere. Mitzi, Mitzi, Mitzi wants some gibanitsa. And four, four onzi. Club soda. And four ounces? Club soda. That's okay. Club soda. Put inside. God. 
What? Why club soda? Kind because of it's 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 to a, let it rise. No, it's like fluffy. Oh, club. That's what I'm saying. Club soda is gonna make given it's a fluffy. It's uh, gotten a lot easier, obviously, to uh, to mix it. And this is obviously, as you can tell, it's manual. There's no fancy schmancy tools using this. It's kind of embarrassing when you think about it, how simple this is. And I never got around to learning it. Shame on me, huh? But it's never too late to learn, right? Tu es adobra. Yo, es adobra? Yeah. Uh, she said that's good. Now, what do we do now? Metitu. Now, I'm taking fill loaves. Fill, fill of dough. Two pieces. Two pieces. And make. Well, one make of them broke, but. Like, that's okay. Make like over. Okay, like that. Like over. This. Like over. Okay. It's need to be, it's need to be couple because it's need to have crust. Okay, so two, two of them, but on this side, and are you gonna have two on this side all too? All over, yeah, all over. Well, what about that side? Okay. Look at just, it's, you need to make this nice. Well, okay, hold on. Everything can be covered. Oh, if okay. you are cooking, everything can be fixed. Okay. That's that's the point oh, of on, beautiful on. cooking. Okay. Oh, question. Uh, so, how many are you putting? Two of them, or all everything in there right now? No, just just enough to have a crust down. Okay, enough. And how many were those about? About four. Four. So about four of them all around to give it enough crust. And I can tell you when it's cooked and there's a crust, mm, it's so delicious because, and now, it because it becomes, it gets fluffy and so there's gotta be a solid crust. And now you just put each piece, each leaves. In, that I've never seen, go ahead. Put each leaves in the, in the, uh, uh, in the pan, uh huh. In the stuffing, that's okay. like stuffing, yeah. okay? Into this, okay. And, and, and go around, all around, nicely put in and layering. Layering it. Do you mean, yeah. let me do that now. Okay, see. Yeah. So you're gonna, I'm gonna put it all the way around. See, dame it, like yeah. this. Yeah. And put here. Here. I made sure my hands are washed. I am a germo. He's, kind of a guy. He's freak. Just like, like that? Yeah. Like that? Yeah, and lawyer. Layering it around. Oh, okay, that's a little dry. I did a poor job. Yoshe dare. No, yoshe dare. E sada metika. E tako, ne brini što je, što izgleda da nisi uradio, to se sve pokrije. Okay, Baba said not to worry about, you can say it in English. You need to leave four for the end. Four leaves, four leaves, leaves for, for the, the end. end. Yeah. And she said it doesn't matter how... How you do, everything is gonna be perfect. Yeah. And it does become perfect, believe me. I've had enough of it to verify as her witness. Is that too much? No, that's okay, see. It's like playing with dough. Okay, Baba, it's around One the corner. More. Hold on. One more. Right around the corner. One more. In the middle. Okay. Okay, so we right see here. Flap. That, that's okay, yeah. And if you have leftover, you just put it inside. Oh, so all the way left all, all the way, yeah. So all of it needs to be used. Yeah. This is how it's done in the old country. Okay, so you're gonna... I'm gonna wash my hands, Baba. Right? Yeah. You put lily water in that dish and, and like 
try to catch all left over. Now I put all, all on the side. Oh, okay, so the corners all come on the, the side. side. Cover. Cover. Little bit with this leftover sprinkle. And last one. Okay, so you're just putting it in there, folding Pull, it, okay? Yeah, and, and this leftover. Oh, leftover a little bit, so it's not dry, right? It's not, yeah, it's so not. So you wanna have it wet. See, it yeah. need to be like wet, okay? And then you just have a little bit like one spoon, one spoon of olive oil. Olive oil. Oh on yeah, the top. I remember you doing that. I've seen you do this part. Okay. Well, that's two, two little, two one. and a half. That's well, one spoon. Right, one spoon. Down. Well, that's a, t a teaspoon, but you mean tablespoon. One yeah. tablespoon. Okay. That's it. Yeah. And then what do we do now? How long do we cook now, it? Now, uh, until oven is ready, uh -huh. we're gonna wait and that it can be soaked through. Oh, okay, so how long do you wait to let it soak? Uh, soak about, through. about maybe, it depends. You can make it until oven is ready. I, I know, but how long on the average? How long do you wait? But 15 minutes. minutes. 15 minutes, so you let the, you let the dish now sit there let it soak through, through the fillet dough. Uh, and so it's about 15 minutes until the oven's ready. And how, how long 375. Do you, 375 on the oven. About 45 minutes. 45 minutes, 375 and 45. Okay, that's easy to remember. Even I can remember that, 375 and 45 minutes. You can then, if you left over, you can preheat in microwave for 15, 20 seconds and it looks like really you bag that moment. Yeah, but there's a big problem. Uh, there's never anything left over. One day she made that whole thing and before they even looked up, I had eaten half of it. He so, got edges. So what I did was I, I have an art to it. I cut it this way, that way, that way, that way. Ah, a little bit of mathematics here. So I create a square and then I take the sides. And uh, to say that the family was not happy with me is an understatement, especially when I took a huge chunk of it. But I'm sorry. I but couldn't the, help myself. But the funniest thing, my grandkids come tomorrow and said, Baba, I won't give Anitza. I told them I would like to have two, but no one is left. We're gonna be putting this right into the oven right now, so go ahead, Baba, you wanna give any pointers here? This is hot. It's really. like, like, uh, <laughs> shaking, shake, it's shake. like shake. Shakes. Shake. Oh yeah, it's, it's, it's sturdier and it's uh, kind of settled in. I will say she's right, in 15 minutes it's kind of settled in. So mm -hmm. now we're going to put it into the... Um... <gasps> Wait, see I smell it, I didn't know what. Hold on. Wait, <laughs> uh, before you put anything into an oven, make, make sure... Yeah. Make sure uh, Everything make sure... is out. Oh. No wonder something was like starting to smell. Be careful you don't burn yourself, Baba. Okay, we put it on the middle rack. And at least 45 minutes. Baba's rule, rule number one of cooking. Before you put anything into the oven, make sure there's nothing in it. <laughs> it's empty. <laughs> <laughs> Baba, you know that's a Baba. Rookie. I'm old. Baba, Baba you know that's a I Baba. Know. 
I know I'm old woman. <laughs> Sometimes I forgot what I have in Baba, you know that's a rookie mistake. <laughs> Baba's rookie mistake number <laughs> one. That's the kind of a mistake I would make, okay? <laughs> and now we're going to set it for... 45. 45 minutes. You know what, I'm actually, because this is an analog watch, I'm actually gonna go to my iPhone and click 45 minutes right now myself, okay? How much? Oh, okay, so that was 45 minutes. Yeah. Yeah, so I that Oh, hold on. Hold on. Okay, start recording. Okay, we checked it at 45 minutes. In the meantime, if you're wondering what I was doing for those 45 minutes, I was playing soccer. So I'm a little dressed a little differently. And that's a perfect thing to do. Uh, Baba, uh, you, were, you were at 45 minutes, you want to look at it? And then you extended it, what, five minutes? Five minutes. So it's 50 the, minutes it's, now, right? Yeah, it, uh, 45, five, yeah. 50. Well, yeah. Because you need to have 50. crust all around. Okay, so the crust it, has to be all around. It's middle. Yeah. Okay. So you have five more minutes. Five more minutes and that means I can do a little bit more soccer. So I always try to, the reason I really played soccer is so that I'm hungrier so I can eat more of the of Gibanitsa. That's really why. Okay. Okay, the sound is ready to go and I can tell you that all these years, I, I actually know when it's ready because of the smell. In our family, Baba knows I have the most sensitive nose on the planet. So literally, I can tell you, with, Baba, even if I hadn't seen it right now, right. by the smell of it, because you made yeah. it so many times, yeah. I would know whether it's ready. Yeah, we know if we smell, it's done. This is done. It smells. I, I wish you could taste <laughs> taste the smell i wish you could smell smell this beautiful dish it's beyond comprehension i'm telling you and even if you don't have a sensitive nose like i do uh it is absolutely magnificent baba see that's how it looks that's it that's done this 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 and this is here precious and that's what it is. And uh, inside, of course, it's crusty on the on the on the top and the bottom. But inside, it's just so yamalicious. It really is yamalicious, or I would say babalicious. <laughs> yeah, that's what you know. What Baba? You know how much I love making wor all the words, waking yeah. up words. It's babalicious. <laughs> babalicious. Okay. Babalicious. Babalicious. Okay. Yeah. You want to do it as tight as you can on the side. Because you want to get as much of the edge as yeah, possible. Yeah, that's right. Done. No, right here. Yes, the scene is Okay, done. now I've done it. Look how delicioso it is. Uh, now, we have you to cut, cut it. You cut like that, and half, and cut, and cut. Mm -hmm. You can cut how much you With want, it's just edges. But it's nice, good knife. Oh. Okay, Baba, is that all right? We make a right. deal. I don't right. take this half, yeah. I just take that, and the rest yeah. of it is you guys. You can cut in a half, uh, like, cut this one, two, no, four. No, three, right. This one is four. Four, yeah. yeah. Okay, when you cut it inside, you'll see it's um, very light and fluffy. Okay, so Baba, because you've always been the last to have a Gibanitsa, because I made this Gibanitsa, yeah, you with made. her help, yeah, I will. I'm going to let I'll, you I'll have be. the first piece. Wow. Wow, that's big. Yeah, wow, that's big. That's Which big. piece do you want? It doesn't matter. I like middle. Yeah, I know you like middle. That's what, see, I see. I know my mama my, 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 like, loves uh, middle, so that's why I was actually going to this piece, because I actually... Wow, look. Look at that. And it's light and fluffy. It's just unbelievable. Okay, do you see this corner? Look at the corner. Look how gorgeous the corner is. And now you see why I fight. Page. Fight till death for this type of corner. 
okay? And why I'm not beyond being uh, humiliated, embarrassed, and stealing the corners. Wow. Oh. Wow. This one was really nice and fluffy. Okay, I got my corner, pretty nice chunk, and uh, it's really hot. It's very hard to eat it when it's hot, but unlike my family, I, I eat it really literally off the oven, uh, straight from the oven. And for me personally, the harder the better, and it's absolutely delicious. Um, the crust on the top is uh, obviously crusty, and then in the middle it's, mm. Mm. Well, delicious for sure, I'm telling you. If you do exactly what my mom told showed you, right here, you're gonna do the same thing and then you're gonna thank us. Actually, don't thank me, thank Baba. Until next time, okay? Enjoy. You really prepare everything you can make for 15 minutes. Bake for 45 and for one hour you have the best dish. And it's a, it's a delicacy. I'm telling you, I've eaten at the best restaurants in the world and you can't match it and my girlfriend will confirm that. Uh, what's gonna be our next dish on the next episode? Crepes. Uh, crepes, okay. I actually, my mom has taught me how to do crepes but the, and I know the whole ingredients, yada, 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 even have all that, but the problem is that I can never make it as thin as she does. And I can say that I've been to Paris quite a few times and I can guarantee you right now that I'll take my Baba's crepes over any any Parisian restaurant. I'm excited. Okay, there are some restaurants in Paris that will run neck to neck with Baba on the crepes, but the only reason is because they also now know how to make them thin, thin. really thin, and I cannot get to it, Baba, so hopefully uh, this next time you you teach me how to do it then. Although I did learn how to flip him in the I air. Ne, I don't. So I don't doesn't flip, know how to flip him, but I know how to flip him. So there you go. That's the next, uh, next episode. It's going to be Baba's Crepes, okay?